got it all at home in his fridge. Hmm. Yeah, I think I saw his car was full of some packaging. Was it oh. riding low in the and back? And then you could, that you could smell something. Yes, okay. there were dogs following his car, so I think something's <laughs> up there. Not on the case, Natasha. <laughs> yeah, all right. So we've had an interesting afternoon so mm. far. Yeah. We've had a few isolated thunderstorms pop up in the valley. Haven't seen any lightning strikes for Portland, but some good downpours and also getting reports from some, some of you at home in Hillsboro saying you've seen some pea-sized hail out there. Also, same for Salem. Now, let's take a look at that current temperature for Vancouver. It's 52 degrees. Uh, wind is out of the southwest at about five miles per hour, but we are seeing some differing winds aloft, so that can lead to a little bit of shear. That can also lead to a little bit of rotations, and you might see some of those high base funnels out there. If you do and you're able to safely take a picture, we would love to see it. You can send it on over to us at coin.com. Temperatures overnight tonight will be in the upper 40s to mid 40s. Here's a look at that line of thunderstorms that came through. It was right around 3 o'clock this afternoon. We had multiple lightning strikes between McMinnville and Salem. Now all that activity is starting to wind down just a bit, but you still may run into some hail or a pretty good downpour out there. We are seeing more moderate showers just north of downtown Portland, heading out towards the Columbia River and out towards PDX. And another look here between Woodburn and Silverton. Some heavy to light showers at times may be running through approaching the foothills. Rain totals, of course, this is just for our local airports. Aurora about two tenths of an inch. Portland so far only a tenth of an inch. Lincoln City right now. It has been an interesting day out on the beach. Seen some bigger waves. Uh, no advisories at this point for wave heights, but always watch out for those sneaker waves out there and also watch out for the possibility of more thunderstorms tomorrow. Here's your planner for tomorrow in Portland. In the morning, we'll be in the mid 40s by the afternoon. Not much of a change for that temperature. Tomorrow will certainly be a chilly one. Upper 40s for your daytime high. Also, possibility of thunderstorms in Portland tomorrow. How about those rainfall totals? We're going to take it all the way out past Friday. Why is Friday so important? because on Friday we could see an atmospheric river come through. Confidence is pretty high that we'll get some good rainfall totals. It could be anywhere from one to two inches at this point in time. At the coast, you would see slightly higher totals, possibly upwards of two to even three inches over the course of three to four days. Mount Hood Meadows looks like this, 27 degrees, and we have a fresh layer of snow up there. Nice to see that, but of course, when that atmospheric river comes through on Friday, we're gonna get some rain on top of the snow and then we'll be right back to building that base as we get to next week. But here's what we are expecting with that snow level forecast just below those mountain passes. So right around about 3000 feet, you could see some accumulating snow at times and then right back up to about 7000 feet as soon as we hit this Friday. This is what it looks like between uh, now through Thursday evening. We might be able to collect something close to about three to six inches just outside of government camp. Of course, as you get into those ski resorts, we could be seeing more than six inches of snow. OK, let's look at that future cast. More snow for the mountains, more isolated showers for the valley. We get to tomorrow morning, another wet morning commute. You will have breaks in between those showers. That also allows us to see a little bit of instability again for tomorrow afternoon. Rain ends and really cold temperatures arrive for us Thursday morning. We're expecting the upper 30s for Portland. Take a look at that seven day forecast. Again, that'll be Thursday morning, one of the coldest for us until we get to the middle of next week. And then we introduce another round of really cold temperatures and showery weather. That also does mean more mountain snow and snow for those passes. So the next seven days, we're going to see a little bit of roller coaster, but uh, not boring weather at all. Remember, it was just two weeks ago when we were just parched. Yes. A little different. Making up person lost time. A little different. Yeah. Thank you. Prescription